situation mega terrible. Tomorrow is going to be the biggest disaster of my entire life. Hurry up, insect. It's on the table. Coming! <sighs> Forget it. I don't even want to think about it. What do you mean you have the afternoons off for the whole of next week? Special activities week. But what on earth are you going to be doing? Our class is doing a good citizenship project. Which entails what, precisely? Giving people who need it a helping hand. I'm really looking forward to it. You? I think it's excellent to be doing something practical for a change. You do? Good on you, Gemma. Helping others is very worthwhile. Especially if you win the Good Citizenship Award and get your photo in Frenzy magazine. And a free subscription. Um, not that I'm bothered about any of that. Yeah, sure. And what about you two? What are you going to be doing? We've got a great week. We've got band. Eat up, Greg. You haven't touched your food. Everyone gets an instrument tomorrow and we practice for the big concert on Friday. Gemma helping others? Greg in a band? I'm impressed. Excuse me. I don't feel very well. Greg, dear, what's the matter? He's just heard the words band and practice. Greg doesn't like music. Music doesn't like Greg. No way can I be in band. I'll look such an idiot. But never mind, because I've hatched a plan to get out of going to school tomorrow. Rare and exotic diseases. How to fake being sick. <laughs> this book is one of my very best friends. Greg, are you all right, darling? What is it? What's wrong? Nothing serious, just a bit queasy. You poor little man. Can I get you something? Uh, I'll just lie down for a bit. I'm sure I'll be fine. All right, then. Let me know if you want anything. Stage one accomplished. Now, stage two. What's so important that you have to drag me down here this way? Well, uh, it's, um, it's the Tasmanian devils. Um, they're not, uh... You know. No, I don't know, Chris. They're not, uh, talking to each other. Since when has talking been important to Tasmanian devils? Well, I don't mean talking as in talking. Uh, well, what do you mean, then? Well, what I mean is, uh... What do I mean, Vinny? What Chris means is that that's Mr Biggins. And that's Mrs Biggins. Mostly they're real sweethearts, but last week they had a Barney. <laughs> Now they're not talking to each other. Well, if they do start talking to each other again soon, then they won't be having any little Tassie devil babies. Oh, that sort of talking. Is that serious? Well, if Mr and Mrs Biggins don't start talking soon, they're going to miss the breeding season. And we'll be without our big spring attraction, the baby Tasmanian devils. Oh, don't they know that's bad for business? Can't you do something, Vinny? I'm doing it. Why is he making those silly noises? It's psychological. He's getting in their heads. Sounds more like he's getting on their nerves. <laughs> Let me know if there's an improvement in the situation. Hurry up in there! About time, too! Wait, I was next. Get out of there, you insane. Stage two about to commence. Everything depends on the element of surprise. Honestly, Mummy, Greg's manners are appalling. You're going to have to be super strict with him. Or tell him to go live with the wallabies or something. Yes, dear. Get your breakfast, darling. Mom. Quickly, darling. You haven't got much time. Gemma. No, Greg. I am not going to make your toast. <coughs> wow. Oh, gross. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I'm a bit hot and I don't feel too well. My joints ache. And... <coughs> it's straight back to bed for you, young man. <coughs> but, Mom. No I... buts or ifs. Quickly. Off you go. I'll be right in with the thermometer. I know this isn't exactly fair, 
But as Dick Dry, the ace detective, says, desperate times call for desperate deeds. Stick this in your mouth. Water. Need water. I'll be right back. Forty-two? Is that bad, Mummy? Bad enough for you to stay in bed, young man. Uh, but must go to school. Must go to band practice. Not today, you don't. I'm a genius. Take a slip of paper from the hat. Written on the slip, you will find your good citizenship project for this week. Lisa, tell us what you've got. Help out at the aged care community garden. And don't forget, the person you're helping will write a report. And the best report will win the Good Citizenship Award. Mark. Dog walking at the local pound. Great. That's about the quishiest job you could ever get. Oh, and don't forget the bonus prize. A free subscription and your photo featured in Frenzy magazine. Gemma. Help Miss Wilson, number one, Baronia Drive with chores around the house. <laughs> ah, Miss Wilson, uh, yes, um... Something wrong? Uh, no, dear, no. It'll, um, it'll be a challenge. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> hey, Gems. Gemma. Bet you bomb out on your project. Who cares what you think? I'm gonna win that award. Get your photo in Frenzy, eh? Why does everybody think I want my photo? It's on Loopy magazine. Because you've got every issue of that Loopy magazine in your room. Well, someone must have put them there. Yeah, sure. Five bucks says you don't win. This will be like taking lollies from a baby. Wouldn't count on it. Not if we'd wonder. We'd wonder. Also known as Miss Wilson. She hates everybody. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Excuse me. I'm trying to get to Baronia Drive. You're in it. But there aren't any houses. Yes, sir. It's down that end. Oh. But I'd steer clear of over there. That's weird wonders. <laughs> Wilson, my name's Gemma King from Deep Creek School. Go away! I'm here to help you with any jobs around the house as part of our good citizenship week. I said go away! Hey, Gem, how'd you go with Miss Wilson? Fine. How fine? Perfectly fine. Totally, completely and absolutely fine. You might as well give up now and admit you failed. May I remind you that it's only Monday and tomorrow is another day. Any change? Huh? Yep. Right. But not for the better. It's not? Mother Tiff last night. Now he won't say sorry to her and she won't say sorry to him. As bad as a couple of teenagers. They're worse. Erv? Erv? Mum, there's nothing wrong with me. But you were so ill. That was yesterday. Look, no spots. I've never known spots clear quite so quickly. Must be one of those 24-hour things. The other kids say they get them all the time. Still, I'd be much happier. Got to run, Mama, or I'll miss the bus. Is that funny? I'm in. I don't mind spending the week watching you guys practice. Give me a chance to catch up on my reading. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, sir. Pity we didn't see you yesterday. Sorry, sir. Sick, sir. And I was really looking forward to band two. Well, that's lucky for you then, isn't it? It is. Why is it? Because we still have one instrument left. Sir, so I... Uh... Congratulations, Greg. You're playing the euphonium. On you, Kingy. Yeah, Kingy! The king is strong. A king is determined. A king never takes a backward step. Go away! Miss Wilson? 
Gemma King, I believe we had a little misunderstanding last time. You again? Good day, Miss Wilson. As part of our good citizenship... For the last time. I do not need any help. I do not want any help. And the sooner you get that into your thick little skull, the happier we'll all be! Don't even think about it! Question. Is it worth taking that sort of rubbish just to win a competition? Answer. No way. Never. I'm out of here. Euphonium. That much I know. But why has Greg got it? It's his instrument in the band. But I thought... So did I. He's got the biggest bit in the concert, so he has to bring it home for practice, cos he's not very good right now. I'm actually totally terrible. Think of it as an adventure, darling. Like... hand gliding. Be positive. I am positive. I'm positive. I hate it! I'm on triangle. All I have to do is... Ding. Mm. How easy is that? It's not fair that I have to play the hardest instrument of them all. It's very big. <laughs> and very loud. <laughs> See? Terrible. Absolutely hopeless. Oh. I'm sure you'll be brilliant one day, as long as you practice, and as long as you do it outside and out of my earshot. sound crook to you, mate, and it sure sounds crook to me. But it started them looking at each other for the first time in a week. So blue! <laughs> Still having fun with Weird Wanda? <sighs> All right. I give in. You win. All right. And just what is going on here? Since there's no way I'm going to be able to start my project, let alone win the Good Citizenship Award, I may as well give in now. Well, if that's how you feel, darling, you might just as well do that. Mummy! You're not supposed to say that. I'm not? No! What ought I to say? Usually you tell me not to give in so easily. Tell me to soldier on. But the woman's a total nightmare. She won't even let you in the house. Molly, it's a cruel fact of life. But sometimes one just has to force needy people to accept charity, whether they like it or not. You think so? Just as it's our duty to give, so it's theirs to receive. Well, I can't argue with that. So I'll just have to give it another shot, won't I? Spoken like a true king. Time to get dinner on the table. Mummy? Mummy, did you just... Me, darling? I said absolutely nothing. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. Through and through. I thought I told Good you. Good day, Miss Wilson. I'm here to do a job. And I'm going to do that job no matter what. So if you'd please excuse me. Hey! Who do you think you are? What's wrong, girly? Bit too much for you, is it?
you missed a bit. Where? Over there. <laughs> Better? Much. Not much food. For a fact, Miss Wilson, I've had such a good time, I'll be back again tomorrow afternoon. And what makes you think you'll be welcome? I'm afraid you'll have to put up with me whether you like it or not. Good day, Miss Wilson. <laughs> Come on, Greg, it's for a good cause. But I played for them for hours yesterday. And a top job you did too, mate, so now it's time to start too. If you don't play, then there's no romantic atmosphere. And no romantic atmosphere means no Tassie Devil babies. I'm quite capable of looking after myself, you know. I'm quite sure you are, Miss Wilson. Don't use any onions. I can't stand onions. Onions give me the wind something terrible. What is it? That's for me to know and you to find out, Miss Wilson. It's none of that foreign spicy muck, is it? I can't eat anything spicy, you know. What's up with the lip, Greg? Someone punch you in the mouth. He's been practicing for the concert tomorrow. Please don't talk about it. Come on, Maestro. It's time to make that old devil music. Do I have to? Your audience awaits you. They'll be in tears if you don't show up. I think it's time for a little pre-dinner snack. Where's all the food gone? There's some more of this in the fridge. Should last you a few days. Excuse me while I finish polishing the floor. I bet you're real pleased with yourself. They'll be so impressed with your good deeds, won't they? Frankly, Miss Wilson, I couldn't care less what anyone else thinks. Least of all, you. I did it to prove to myself that I could. By the way, you're supposed to fill that out and say how I did. Up to you if you want to. As far as I'm concerned, you can write whatever you like. I'm going to make you shine, shine, shine. <laughs> Can I stop playing now, please? Reckon you can, Greg. Mr. and Mrs. Biggins are back together. And Biggins Bayers will soon be on their way. Vinny, I think we've done it. I think we have, Chris. I think we have. What about me? Ah, Gemma, one of Mrs. Crowley. I am sorry. But under the circumstances, we won't be able to consider you for the Good Citizenship Award. What circumstances? Oh, poor Miss Wilson had a terrible accident before she could fill out your report card. And, of course, no report card. Accident? What sort of accident? Oh, she fell over and hurt her leg. Uh, slipped on a polished floor. I'm going to make you shine, shine, shine. Oh, no, poor Miss Wilson. Such a pity. All your good work, Gemma. Never mind. Virtue is its own reward, hmm? Do you think she broke her leg deliberately so that I'd feel bad for helping her? No, not even where Wanda would do that. <laughs> would she? Maybe I could make a run for it. Or scream fire. Nervous? Who, me? Heavens, no. Really? Well, if you must know, I'm a little anxious. I just hope Greg doesn't faint or fall off the stage or worse. Not Mum too! She'll never forget this. She'll remind me of it every day of my whole life. At least you won the Good Citizenship Award. Good for her. Which means you didn't, so... No protest? Why should there be? Are you feeling all right? I'm just happy I helped someone. Virtue is its own reward, you know. You're one seriously weird girl. Everyone's 
looking at me. I can't breathe. Okay, no escape now. Just pretend you're somewhere else. Somewhere you feel safe. thinking, the euphonium's quite a nice instrument. If I keep at it, I could end up travelling the world, playing in all the big concert halls. I'd be a star. Well, anything's possible, Greg, that's true, but, um... But? You know, Greg, one of the best things my dad ever taught me was that sometimes it's better to quit while you're still ahead. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, it was good to dream about it. 